Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you will sort a singly linked list. Let's take an example of a singly linked list. We have a list with four nodes, the head node with data four, followed by three, then five, and finally one. We want to sort this singly linked list in ascending order such that our singly linked list finally looks like this with one as the head node, followed by three, four, and finally the greatest value five. Now before continuing further, I suggest that you pause this video here and like how you have done for the other programming exercises, take a sheet of paper and pen and try to arrive at a logic to the solution. Alright, let's continue further. Now to arrive at a solution to this problem, we pass the singly linked list through several iterations. And at each iteration, we move the node with the largest value to the last position. So in the first iteration, we move 5 to the end of the list. In the second iteration, we move 4 to the last second position. In the third iteration, we move 3 to the last third position. And now that all the other nodes have been moved, the node with the data 1 is left at the first position and now we have a sorted list. Let's see how to arrive at this solution. We start from the head node. Now when we start from the head node, we mark that first node as the largest node. Next what we do is, we check if this node is greater than our next node. Now using next of 4, we move to the next node which has the data 3. Now on comparing 4 and 3, we see that 4 is greater than 3. Now if our largest node is greater than the next node, then we swap both the nodes. So their positions get swapped. Now 3 is in the first position and 4 goes to the second position. Now we check largest with the next of largest. This time, the next of largest has the node 5. Now on checking 4 with 5, we see that 4 is less than 5. So if largest is lesser than your next node, we make the next node as largest. So now 5 is made as the largest node. Next we check largest with the next of largest which is node with the data 1. On checking 5 with 1, we see that 5 is greater than 1 and we swap their positions. So now 1 goes in place of 5 and 5 goes in place of 1. Now on checking the next of 5, we see that it points to none and that means that's the end of the list and the end of our first iteration. So that completes the first iteration and we have marked 5 as the last node. So in our first iteration, we have made three comparisons. We compared first node with the second node, second node with the third node, and third node with the fourth node. Now let's start the second iteration by going back to the beginning of the list and push the second largest element to the last second position. So we once again start from the head node, we mark that node as largest, and we check that with the next node which is 4. Now we see that the largest is less than 4, which means we mark 4 as largest. And now we check largest with the next of largest, which is the node with the data 1. So now we see that 4 is greater than 1, which means we swap their positions. And then we see that 5 has already been visited and marked as the last node and we won't be visiting 5 again. So we now have 4 at the last second position, which is the second largest element. So in our second iteration, we made two comparisons. Now let's start a third iteration, let's go back to our head node, mark it as largest and compare largest with the next of largest which is node with the data 1. We see that 3 is greater than 1, so we swap 3 and 1 and 1 is in place of 3 and 3 is in place of 1. So we now have 3 at the last third position which is the third largest value. So in third iteration we made just one comparison. So now that all the other nodes have been moved, our node with the data 1 is at the beginning of the list and we now have a sorted list. Now if we analyze the pattern, when we had the number of nodes as 4, the number of iterations which we had were 3. And at each iteration, the comparison kept getting reduced by 1. Now the technique which we used here to sort is an algorithm called bubble sort. Maybe we could discuss more about bubble sort in a course on algorithms, but to talk briefly about bubble sort, in each iteration of a bubble sort, the largest element is bubbled to the end of the list. So you see that in the first iteration, 5 was bubbled to the end of the list, in the second iteration, 4 was bubbled to the last second position, and so on. So congratulations if you were able to arrive at a solution yourself, do post in the discussion section if you have an alternate solution. I'll see you in the next lecture where we will write a program in Python for it, but before moving on, try writing a program in Python for the solution which you have obtained. I'll see you there, thank you.